Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another uh, Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, and some of the news to kind of kind of a prelude for tomorrow is uh, the initial jobless claims. We got still pretty high here, 472, a little bit better or rate right about that where estimations came, and a little bit of a dip from prior weeks, 476. Productivity, of course, is down. This is for the second quarter, it was revised down to 1.88%. Uh, where it was down one percent. Uh, factors are up slightly. Uh, that was redu that was also for second quarter. Uh, it was previously at points negative point six, which is nice. You know, see a little up up boost. Uh, actually, this is for uh, July. Excuse me, this is for July. So that's actually a nice little boost. That's positive news right there. That we see a little uptick. And even uh, kind of surprising here, the pending home sales. Uh, these aren't homes that have actually sold yet, but these are pending. So ones that went into escrow, as we have in California, or at least under contract, went up 5.2% after a negative of 2.8%. So that's kind of a good uh, sign right there. So hopefully we'll see, that could take about 30 to 60 days to see some of those closings. Technicals, the stock market is up, but there's kind of like trading. They're mostly waiting for tomorrow's news with the jobs numbers. Uh, the European uh, Central Bank kept their interest rates the same. Trisha, the chairman, who is the uh, thinks the economy also will be kind of modest growth and doesn't believe there will be a double dip. So those are all kind of what's out there in the news today. So let's kind of take a look at, sorry, I went backwards here, folks. Uh, so let's take a look here, see so what will be going on for the bond market. And we actually had a big drop. We dropped probably about, uh, from yesterday, approximately 21 basis points. So rates should not be as good as what they were yesterday. And earlier on this morning, we were kind of dipping lower for the day. And since then, have kind of gone up. Uh, we're up approximately three basis points for the day. You may see this actually kind of here come, uh, fill in this gap that was created from the, the drop from yesterday and today. You may see this actually go up and show some improvement because of that. Tomorrow will definitely be a very volatile day, so we'll kind of see a lot more strength in those numbers, whether it goes up or down, depending on those job numbers. So prepare for tomorrow to see where the market's really going to be shaking, because that's what you know the traders are kind of looking for forward towards. So you guys have a great day. Anything else changes, I'll keep you up to date.